one of those you've added again permanently this week, Jake Jones, gets man of the match, scores a goal. <clears throat> How much of a boost is it for you looking forward up the table? Is a play like him going to do? Magnificent, you know. He, he was he was great. He was great as was a lot of them for seventy minutes, you know. But he's obviously got the got the man of the match. But that could have been, you know, probably two or three others. I thought there were some real big performances out there today. And you know, if, if my players, if I have six six or six or eight of them winning the battles out there, which we did today, comfortable, then we've always got a chance of winning the football match. And uh, you spoke a lot about the commitment and spirit, <coughs> and the desire from your players. But you've got Terry Butcher, aka Dan Quigley, and Ryan Clark's pulling blood at the end. I suppose that's how much these guys want to win. Oh, the, you can't, you can't never um, question the, the lads' desire. You know, if they had scored two goals at the end there and we drew three-three, that wouldn't have been because we didn't have no desire. That would have been because we defended poorly and we sat too deep. But you know, the desire can't be in question. You know, no Kingsland team, certainly in the last two, three years, can question desire ever question the desire you know we work for one and each other we rat in packs you know when we when we get the ball we try and pass it you know it do get sloppy it's a step free football you know we in we in at the new camp playing on a car but we have to dig in work hard play in the opposition's half and we've got one or two players who can open open the opposition up and you know if we keep clean sheets between now and the end of the season we'll win football matches because we'll always score a goal and also, at the same time, as much as you've got that desire, some genuine touches of quality for your goals yeah. as well, to be fair. I mean, yeah. you and Clark Tedder is a great finish, and yeah. you two goals in the second half were very good. Yeah, cool. the ball from Jack McGovern, left foot, great ball. Clark has come off the shoulder, and that's a, that's a cute finish. Um, the second goal, yeah, Jake Jones is doing his usual thing, trying to walk it in the net, and, you know, that's fell to George George Thompson, who's finished with, with, with a plum, and then... Great move where we've clipped the ball into Hall. He's <coughs> held the lad off and set it back for Jake Jones to finish on his right foot. A, you know, a crack and finish. And, you know, just before they scored, we had a chance to go 4 the up when Hawley's blazed it over. And, you know, if we would have scored that, who knows what would have happened. But, you know, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great team performance today and that's a great three points. And <coughs> I said to the lads, if we can get two positive results with today and next Saturday, and then, you know, the league table will change again. Teams have got games in hand, there's no question about that. And if they played them, we'd probably be sitting 8 4 9. But, you know, if you're sitting 8 4 9, you're still not out of it at this stage of the season. So, you know, we'll keep going. In the middle of those two league games comes the Norfolk Senior Cup. Yeah. Um, how are you going to view it? <coughs> it's been around quite quickly. It, what's your view of it? You've got well, Acre, haven't you? A few levels below you. But have you been mixing it up, bringing a few of the young lads in? I'll, I'll bring one or two of the young lads in, but I want to keep, I want to keep the momentum going, really. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll rest one or two who need rest and I'll. I'll play some other lads and, you know, probably the new lads who have just come in will probably play and, you know, a couple of the reserve team lads who have been knocking on the first team door will, will play. So that'll be a that'll be a strong side, you know, we want to win the game, we want to keep the momentum going and, you know, y you've got to play a certain amount of your first team players, obviously. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and win the game on Tuesday. I know you don't like to be drawn on the playoffs, um, but if you keep showing the same kind of endeavour, commitment, spirit as you have, not just for last four games, but for the whole season. I mean, how far can you go? Well, who knows? Who knows? We're, we're sort of dark horses, really. We've come into it, like I said the other week. You know, I looked at the league table on a Sunday morning and Whitby were fifth place. And I, I looked for where where Whitby come from. You know, they'd strung three or four games together. And same with Ashton. You know, you look at and, and I expect there to be another managers last week when Kings Lynn were in the power. Well, where Kings Lynn come from? You know, we're, we're in good form. We've got 16 games left. We probably need to win 10 of them. Can we win 10 of them? Yeah, we probably can. Can we lose 10 of them? Yeah, we probably can. Can we draw 10 of them? Yeah, more than likely, of course we can. But, you know, these, these games are decided on, on fine lines. And while my players are putting in the effort and desire, if we get the breaks, we can win the games. If we don't, then obviously we don't. But, you know, we're comfortable. We're, we're happy in our own carcass, so to speak. You know, we, we, we're well pleased with how it's going. I'm well pleased with how it's going. I hope the supporters are well pleased with how it's going. I think the chairman, you know, he'll be a little bit happier today with 650 here. So, you know, if we can just keep the, the momentum... I, I, I honestly think it's psychological. I think because people see the fact that we was fourth place last week, I think they think, oh, Lynn are doing all right, we'll come and have a look. And, you know, I, I just think with, if we can keep the ball rolling and keep gaining momentum, you know, that we, we could have an outside chance, a, a slim chance of sneaking in the top five. You just never know.